What's up everyone? Today I'm sorting out my N54's wastegate rattle issue for good. So, so far I've done the quick fix which I have a video on here. This sorts out your rattle for maybe like 20,000 Ks, but inevitably it came back. So I went ahead and ordered a wastegate flapper repair kit. Now I didn't film the removal of the turbos, but it's a lot simpler than people make out to be. People say you need to remove the subframe, but you don't. However, I did need to remove the right side engine mount to get at my turbos. For the flapper kit, it is important you get the right one. There are some Chinese ones knocking around, which I don't know if they might be okay, but to me it doesn't make sense. So I've got a link in the description for the steel ones that I bought. Once you've got your turbos off, you can remove this piece to get it out of the way. And you're left with this unit, the wastegate, the turbo, and the manifold. We're replacing this arm here. We're doing the flappers, which is the bit that rattles most likely, and the bushings that the flapper rod sits in. So first up, I'm going to stuff the coolant and oil lines. So before you do anything, you're going to want to put the flapper in the completely closed position and then mark where this lever is on top. Next, you're going to grind this all the way down until you can lever it off. And eventually you'll get down to where you can see the outline and you should just be able to rip it off now. Next up we're going to drill out this little tiny pin. And what you're waiting for is to see chips come through like that, meaning you've broken through. So now's the bit where you can use your slide hammer, get a socket about the right size, chuck it on the other side, and then slam it out. But I don't have one of those, so I'm gonna grind the top off so I can slam it in. that it's pretty much flat, should be able to smash it through. Also before I forget, I'm selling these RGB color changing halo lights for the BMW. They fit a whole bunch of different models. You can control it with an app and just set any color for your halo lights. They're probably my favorite mod on this car. You can even set like fade modes. And there's also like sound activation mode. So they'll like flash in time with the music. Cool mod, check them out, link in the description and you'll be supporting the channel if you buy them. So thank you very much. Okay, back to this. So here's what I'm concerned about right now. This is the old flapper, right? Which was making noise. And here's a new flapper. It sounds pretty similar to me. From what I understand, it's the exhaust flow passing through the wastegate and rushing past this, which at different RPMs, based on how open or closed it is, creates different rattling noises. These come like this stock, so perhaps it won't. Rattle develops over time, right? But I have an idea of how I think I can safely mitigate the rattle from happening while still allowing the flapper end to articulate to make a perfect seal. I'm thinking that if I put the silicon in and around all these gaps, then it'll just stop it rattling while still allowing, because silicon has flex, right? Still allowing it to move and seat perfectly. And there's no risk if it comes off because it'll just blow up the exhaust. Everything still moves and it still rocks, so it'll still make a seal. But the main difference, the old one, new one, I'm not exactly sure why it's spitting so many BBs, but the weld seems good.
it's always nerve-wracking welding important shit like your turbos but it went pretty good I'm not super confident that just that nail is going to hold it in place because it wasn't wedged in the slot perfectly so I'm also going to do a little tack weld just on the side here Next is welding the flapper on. This task seems to require like three hands, so this is the best way I've found of doing it. So these vice grips are my ground for the welder, clamped on to the body of the flapper, and then resting on the grips themselves in such a way that it holds the flapper shut. So now that the flappers are welded back on, I've put them in pretty much the position that they were, but there's no way in hell that I would have gotten it perfectly, exactly aligned right. So I've got a vacuum tester, which will allow me to check that I get the rod adjustment exactly perfect and that the flappers both seal at the same boost pressure. That's why I'm selling them, and if you buy them, it's also a great way to support the channel. So link in the description, click through, and I'll get it on the way to you if you want it. Okay, back on with this. I'm not super worried about getting it exactly factory setting. What I am worried about is getting both turbos the same, because I don't want three cylinders to be firing slightly different to the other three cylinders. So what I'm looking for here is 5.91 inch HGs, whatever that is. That's the stock level where the flapper should be closed, but there should be some resistance in turning the disc. So there, 5.9. All I'm going to do is make sure that they're both exactly the same. The same resistance on the disc spinning and both of them at the same pressure on the gauge. And then I'll be happy with them and they can go back in, finally. And that's it! Two fully repaired wastegate flappers on your turbos. So I'll be putting them back in in a future video as well as changing all the oil lines and gaskets and seals and stuff like that. Then this thing can finally be back on the road. It's been way too long for it being parked up, just waiting on parts and stuff like that. I cannot wait to get back into it and drive it. And finally guys, the wide body kit is going on. I've got everything I need. I've got the kit all fitted. I've got the adapters and I've got four wheels. So as soon as I get this thing back running, I'm going to be putting the kit on it and then adding some splitter and spoiler and possibly diffuser at the back as well and tuning this thing and then we're more or less done. I just have to finish up putting the interior back together. This project is finally coming together. So wide body cat video coming guys, hit subscribe, make sure you don't miss that one. Hit like if you liked this video, if it helped you out. Also remember to check out those lights and other than that, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys, cheers, see you later.